Hey guys, welcome back to Late Night Nick. So today we're going to be looking at how to use and apply Portico Lawn Fertilizer. So first step is just to cut down the grass like the public school system has cut down my self-esteem all those many years ago. Making sure to create more grass clippings than Snoop Dogg's club box. Uh, make sure to get an even um, mow across the whole lawn, but make sure not to cut it down too short because you still want to have some shade for the roots, um, for the treatment, uh, to properly reach all the roots you can't have the grass too long but you also don't want to you know completely expose the roots to the sun as you will create more dead spots then you eliminate just make sure to get yeah as I was saying before a complete and um, proper coverage of the whole lawn okay so the next step is to make your feet spikier than the um, popular kids hair from the year 4 dance Making sure to strap up those feet nicely. Strap yourself in as if you're late for the rent. And yeah, just tape them up, make sure they don't come loose. Uh, Cause if you bought the cheap brand of aerating sandals as I did, they do come loose quite often. So again, you want to make sure you get a nice even aeration. So just like with the lawn, you want to go over a couple of different ways. So I go over it back and forth from here. Then after I've done a lap of that, I just go side to side. I'm not too uh, direct with it because I did just aerate it last weekend. So I don't want to make it too Swiss cheese like, but you know, at the same time, I make sure I do a good job and that all the treatment gets right down to the roots and doesn't just hit the grass and die there. Alright guys, so my lawn's about 9 square metres, so you'll be looking at 2 and a quarter cups of this fertiliser. This is in no way, shape, or form a measuring cup, but let's just go with it. So 27 grams per metre. Alright, so after you've got your breaking bad on, after a Measuring all those chemicals, you want to spread that white powder around like you're a casting director in the 80s. Make sure to get a nice even spread across everything. Chuck this down in slow motion just so you can get. I thought it looked really cool at the time, to be honest with you, but um, the lawn spread actually ended up stuffing up, and you'll see that eventually I just give up and just start spreading it like it was just a cup, just tossing it out of the top of the little. Uh, I always call it a machine, but let's just call it a lawn spreader. So yeah, it's already broken, so this is about the third or fourth time I've used it. A bit disappointing, but hey, you know, what can you expect? You buy the cheapest tools, get the cheapest results. As you can see, it hits a lot of the sand spots, kind of leaking out. Um, but yeah, it's just, again, just ended up giving up on it. Using it as just a little, little cup, really, after that. Now you want to make sure to wet the grass like the proverbial macaroni in the pot that it is. Um, I usually like to follow a little pattern, just like with the lawnmower or the aerating sandals to make sure I don't hit, hit the entire garden that is. Anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content. And yeah, feel free to leave any sort of, um, sort of products or anything like that you think I should test on this lawn next. Again, this lawn's only about nine months old, but I just think that yeah, it's, just, uh, it's needed a lot of products so far, so I don't think, I don't see this being the last thing that we try on it.